Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga is about breath. The practice releases a wave of breath that washes through us like a storm and completely empties our minds. After the storm, everything is quiet and still, and we can see the world around us with unusual depth and clarity. In Ashtanga Vinyasa, we work with two basic patterns. One of these is called prana. This is the pattern of inhalation. It expands upward and outward from the heart. The other pattern is called apana. This is the pattern of exhalation. It contracts downward and inward toward the pelvic floor. As we move through our vinyasa, we give expression to each of these patterns. We allow ourselves to be moved by these patterns and to experience the many ways in which they can take form. We allow ourselves to become absorbed in these patterns and to lose ourselves in them. This is not a state of distraction. On the contrary, it's a state of presence in which we fully experience the patterns of prana and apana as they unfold, not only in our physical bodies, but throughout the entire landscape of our experience. The patterns of prana and apana manifest throughout the mind. They can be seen in the arising and dissolving of sensations throughout all of our sensory fields. The prana pattern is creative while the apana pattern is dissolutive, and both are essential to sensory experience. In the conceptual mind, the prana pattern appears in the branching of one thought into many. It underlies our inspiration and imagination, our ability to see things from diverse points of view. The apana pattern, on the other hand, appears in the collapsing of many thoughts back into one. It underlies our ability to make decisions and to let things go. When these two patterns oscillate, they create our inner voices. They create the inner streams of thought by which we continually narrate our experience. When we practice Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga and we allow ourselves to become absorbed in the movements of the breath, we start to experience these patterns as arising simultaneously. That is, we start to experience them as holding one another in balance. And soon our thought forms are dissolving as soon as they arise. We can then experience creation and dissolution in our minds without being caught up in our thought currents. This is presence or mindfulness. In time, by working with bandhas or internal binds, we can learn to press these two patterns together. When we press them together, we create intense internal heat. This is called tapas. This is the heat of concentration. 
It results from holding the mind steady, right at the balance between creation and dissolution. All traditional yoga practices create tapas, and tapas burns through the structures of our conditioning. It breaks down the barriers of our consciousness so that we can reach out and touch the world directly. The purpose of this practice is not to perfect the mind. The perfection of the mind is merely a means to an end. The true purpose of the practice is to wake us up to the reality of other beings. It is to bring down our sense of separation from them and to expose us to the intimate nature of our interrelationship. In a word, the purpose is compassion or complete openness to reality. This is the amrita or nectar of yoga. It dissolves our sense of longing and incompleteness and floods our senses with love for all beings.